And, and we always look silly in social media pictures. <laughs> uh, yes, I, I, I think our, our, our cover photo today is not the best. Uh, it's, uh, it's always the way. Welcome to What Have I Just Read with Michael, with Malcolm, and with the Jingle. And um, uh, uh, surely this, this is that meeting where Moses resigns to the fact he's not going to see the promised land. Is that right? That's correct. And that. Yes, and he's not going to see it, and what he's doing is he's saying Joshua is going to be the man who takes you in. And mm -hmm. he's saying be strong and courageous. And he said, didn't we read this recently in the last couple of months? I seem to recall something like this. And, and, um, and isn't also there's a, there's a punishment element for Moses here because he didn't... I mean, there's a lot of repeating of it. Yes, oh, there, right, but you're okay. right, there is... There's a point after Moses strikes the rock twice or something with his staff when God had said, just speak to it. <laughs> right. Uh, and, and Moses does that because he's really angry with the people. Right. At that point, God says, no, you're not going into the promised land. Naughty. Right. Um, because of the people. Um, and he says, and I will, you know, and, and others will, will lead you in. Okay. So, yes, you're right. Right, right, okay. That's interesting. Uh, and, he, and, he, and he actually made that prediction or that warning Immediately after Moses had done the yeah, angry, yeah, 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 yes, yeah. It, uh, sorry, yeah, go ahead. No, I was just going to say it's, it's really this lovely thing where Moses though calls Joshua and sort of strengthens him and says, you know, be strong, be courageous. Um, God, God is going to be with you. It's, it's interesting, and it's strange. He says, assemble the people, men, women, children, as well as the aliens residing in your tent. So that was quite interesting. Yeah, there's a sort of element of other people. Yeah, being welcome. Yeah, yes, in this yes. deal, <laughs> and, this, and this this idea that you know, once a year the people gather, and, and the law is read, and people listen to it. Right, and and sort of it's like sort of the the, the, the community are refounded, recentered again. Right. Um, so oh, no, oh, this is the, and that's the festival of booths, the famous. Is that this is it? Uh, the 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 no, I, is it the festival of booths? I don't. No, so, it might be, it might be, but I, I can't quickly say whether... Most, it's, here's a, where there's a reference in the, in the talk here, Festival of Booths, yeah, when excellent. all the world comes to appear before the Lord your God um, during the festival. Brilliant, uh, yep, yep, you're absolutely right. And so that's... A, that and that's when they all do the repeating the law and... And so it's sort of reminding them they were slaves, they, God brought them out, they were a pilgrim people, and as they're doing that, they hear the law being read. Yeah, fascinating. Right. Pilgrim people, yeah, that's good, actually. So the booths makes a lot of sense. Great. And then one day, two, and Antichrist. And, and I think what must have happened here is in the community, a, a group of people left the community. You know, there was a schism, there was a right. split. And it seems to have been over the person of Christ, over the identity yeah. of the person of Christ. And they are saying, they're denying that Jesus is the Messiah. This group right. has gone out. And so John is saying, now we know the end is coming because they've left us. And you might say, yes, but that was 2,000 years ago right. and the end hasn't come. But the whole teaching of the New Testament is much more this idea that we're living in, you could call the last times. Right. And, and yes, one day the Antichrist who will deny Christ is coming, but in the time, meantime we see lots of little Antichrist. And what, and what is the significance of the Antichrist? Why, why, what sort of role, does he play an important role? Is he sort of part of the story in a crucial way? It or? seems that, I mean, people will, right, people will have lots of different theories about this. Right. But it seems, I would say sort of the mainstream idea is that you know, before the end comes, there will be this Antichrist figure right. who sets himself up as Christ, as, as God. Right. Sort of almost has sort of world dominion or does amazing things, but denies Christ. I mean, the Antichrist has been identified with, with everybody from Napoleon to the Hitler, Pope, Hitler <laughs> Stalin, you know. Right. Often it's sort of in a local place. And, mm -hmm. and in a sense, you could say that certainly some of them did have the ant spirit of Antichrist, of that denial of God in them. But, um, it's interesting. They refer, I, I call them little Antichrist. Right. And, and, and it says, um, as for you, the anointing that you uh, I write these things to you concerning those who have you. As for you, the anointing that you receive from him abides in you, and you do not need anyone to teach you. Uh, there's a connection here about 
a connection to, between being anointed and, mm -hmm. and teaching, or yeah. not being, that's interesting. I, I, I think what he's saying is because you have the Holy Spirit, because right. if you are living in God, if you're living in that communion, you actually don't need teaching because you you actually have a guide you have that internal guide and you, you you know it all and you just know what is right right and you're led by the peace and you're led by the joy right um, i think that's 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 great nice. from the practical the, the practicalities though is that we are so good at self-deception mm. and we are so good at forgetting that we be reminding and that we be perhaps correcting right it's so true, we are good at yeah. deceiving ourselves and forgetting. Yeah. Yeah. No, amazing reading. And this, this would have been written when? Uh, sort of within a short time after Christ's death? Probably a little bit later. John is, they say, it's now an old man. Oh, okay. And so he was probably very young, you know, in his early 20s. Right, so he's still, he's still what, sort of 40, 50 years after? 50, 50 years right. on, yeah. yeah. Right. Interesting. Interesting. Great. Lovely. Thank you very much and um, have a great week. Hope to see you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye.